Hello everyone, welcome to DA College video. I'm Yalda and today I want to teach you some useful idioms that you can use at work, at school and in your daily conversation. Um, look at the title here, it paid off. Here today I want to teach you this idioms in a conversation that it just like makes sense to you, right? So you can understand it better. So we have three characters in this lesson. We have a teacher, so you see T for that. So we have Eugene, E, and C is Carlos. Okay, look at the first line here. You ace your exam, Eugene. Congratulations. You ace your exam, it means, or ace something, it means you did very well on something. Right? For example, you tried really hard, now you aced it. You got a very good result. You did very well on it. Thanks. I guess it paid off to stay with the host family after all. Um, host family, there are some families and they accept the students. They, the students just like go and stay with them. And not only they provide them with food and a place to stay, they can practice their English as well. In Canada right so there are host families it's not really easy to live with a host family but after all it paid off Eugene could see the very good result of just like staying with the host family and practice his English with them so you say I guess it paid off to stay with a host family after all right so I could see the good result um, and Carlos here, I should try that. It's like you're studying 24 seven. Carlos wants to try that too. It's like you're studying 24 seven. It means 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So you see 24 seven, it means 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It means all the time, every day, all the time. So he was trying so hard. That isn't a bad idea, Carlos. It's a good idea, actually. So you have to study harder and stay with the host family to practice your English. I take I didn't pass with flying colors. It means pass with flying color. It means not just like didn't pass. It means you didn't get higher, much higher than a passing actually mark, right? For example, so if you just, if you have to get 75% to pass, you just get that, not more than that. But if you get, for example, 90%, it means you aced it. You got a very good score, right? But here, I think he didn't. So you say, I didn't pass with flying colors. I didn't pass with very good marks. Teacher here, um, the teacher said, you passed, but you have a long way to go. It means although you pass, your marks were not really good, right? So you just passed the test, but you didn't good, actually get good marks. So you have a long way to go. It means you have to practice more and you have to put lots of efforts and then so you can get a better result. You have a long way to go to reach to your goal. I'm thinking about taking your class again, Mrs. Lin. I'm not ready to go back to Brazil, right? So he wants to stay longer in New York. I hear you, it means I understand you. There is still so much to see and do in New York, right? So you can still stay here and enjoy um, you know, just like different things, right? So because still there are lots of things that you haven't seen and you haven't done. Move back in with me. I promise I clean up my act. Means move back in with me. It means just again move back in and stay with me again. I promise I clean up my act. I clean up my act. It means I behave differently in more responsible way, right? More responsible and with more just like respectful, act more respectful next time. I promise, so look at the grammar here. So when you have I promise, after that, the verb come with will. I promise I will 
clean up my act. Are you pulling my leg? It means, are you kidding me? Just or joking with someone. So pulling my leg, pull someone's leg, it means joking with someone. Are you kidding me? I left you high and dry last time. Leave someone high and dry means leave someone in a very bad situation. Okay, so probably they had some arguments or just like, I don't know, something bad happened between them, some fights probably. So I left you high and dry last time. Haven't you guys been down this road before? It means, so just like be down this road before, it means just like, experience the same situation previously so you have the same situation or experience actually before so it means so it's not good to just experience it again yes but my place isn't a pixie anymore pixie it means very untidy right so not clean um, Maya's tidiness rubbed off on me rubbed off on someone it means having a good or bad influence on someone right so it means just like she was so tidy so her tidiness rubbed off on me it means just like having a good influence on me and i'm not like messy like before right i'll start packing i need a change of scenery anyway it means so I really need to experience new things and new place and new people, right? So just like he didn't want to stay anymore. I hope you enjoyed this lesson um, and you can just like use this idioms. You can practice it and use it in just like different situation with your friends or at work, with, uh, at, at school or any daily conversation that you have with someone. Uh, so you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, DA Education Center, and whenever I upload a video, so you'll be notified. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.